Well, I did think today I got up and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got so much I need to do. And something hit me. It's like, stop, just stop. I had a question. I didn't save it, but you know who you are who asked it. You have recently bought a van, like an Econolite van, I believe, and you're starting to do the build out. And you asked me, I'm anxious to get going, but how do I get started? Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are so many steps to go, but you know what? It's so easy. Let's just, let's just simplify this whole thing. Well, <laughs> we'll simplify it by one is to get my book. <laughs> How to Live in a Minivan, the Minivan Leeway. It's on Amazon. You can get it ebook or you can get it paperback. And it's so easy. Type in Minivan Lee, okay? And it will pop up and, and buy it. It's not that expensive, seriously. So get that because I get you from A to Z and beyond. Yeah, if there's a beyond after Z, yeah. Seriously, get the book. But Let's talk about this. You have a van. You obviously want to do it because you actually bought a van and you wanted to get, you're getting ready for a build out. Here's what you all need to do. I've got a couple of friends that are doing it. This is what you need to do. Everybody's doing it, right? What you need to do is start downsizing now. Start today or tomorrow, okay? Start downsizing. You need to scan your house. Open your closets, pull out your drawers, okay? And you need to see what's in there. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you're, if you're single or you're a couple, you're a married couple and you want to do this, I mean, I have three spoons, one fork, one knife, one berry knife, one bushcraft knife. Don't mess with me, okay? <laughs> yeah one can opener, a couple of plates, a couple of little, yeah, seriously. But look in your, go look in your cupboard, go into your kitchen. Well, don't go now, but go into your kitchen or take your phone there and open your drawers and see what you got in there. Oh my gosh. You probably have, I don't know, 20 plates, 20 cups. <laughs> yeah, I got like, this is my coffee cup right here. I do have another cup that I use for like in the morning for my emergency. Yeah. There's my coffee. There's my coffee thing. And you know, you don't need that much. We are in when if you're in a home, you are carrying way too much stuff. I guarantee it. My theory is the larger the house, the more cupboards you have, the more um, closets you have, and then add on the garage you will eventually fill them up. You'll fill them up. I said that to my daughter when she first moved into this huge four bedroom house, upstairs, downstairs, three bathrooms, oh my goodness, then a basement with a bathroom and all of that, a refrigerator and an own little, like a little uh, area right there for somebody to live in. I said, you know, eventually you're gonna fill these up. <laughs> She's at the point now where it's like, oh my gosh, they're full. Yeah, after like five, six years, they're, seven years, they're full. Yeah. So you need to have a yard sale. You need to get on eBay, Facebook Market, or Craigslist and start selling the big things. The little things you can maybe sell on Facebook Marketplace because... I'm just telling you right now, shipping is outrageous. It just is. And I do ship my products when you order them. I ship them. And yeah, I pay for the shipping. It it can it runs expensive. For the, the smallest you're ever gonna get is like five fifty. And that's for something really small. So if you're gonna be selling bigger things, you might want to do that either in a yard sale or you're gonna want to do that um uh, like on Craigslist where they can come. But here's the thing that you need to do. If it's really heavy, like furniture, they're going to have to come to your house. But if it's not so big, 
you can meet them somewhere. You can meet them in a parking lot or meet them in a McDonald's. McDonald's is always a good area to meet somebody in, you know. Um, you've got DVDs, you've got CDs, you've got music, um, you've got um, heirlooms. Your heirlooms, you're going to have to figure out the family who wants them. Now, if you really, if you if you're not tight on money, you can always get a storage unit. Get rid of most of the stuff though before. Don't just shove everything in a storage unit. Oh my gosh, you want to go through it first. But here's the kicker: you need to start now, right now, because. I mean, so you ask that question, how do I get started? You need to start getting rid of stuff from your house. You're going to have to do that. Unless you were going to, you didn't mention whether you were going to keep your house and just travel for a while. You didn't let me know that. I don't know if that's what you um, are thinking about doing. So that's how you really do get started. But there's so many other steps to take to do all of that. I mean, so you're getting rid of all your stuff. Um, you're going to, here's another thing you, it, oh, my light is going out. We're going to be without light people. <laughs> okay. We're, we're stuck without light. Let me get a light here. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get this. Well, we're in the dark here. This is when I need to get another light because, okay, let me get that. <laughs> I'm a little uh, disheveled here. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, I got this. Let's get some more light. Oh, I turned it off. This is worse. There we go. Woo. I did it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not so bad. We doing okay? Okay. Better. Better. Let's see what's best. I know, look at all my lights. I could, this really should be a show about lights. It's a show about lights. That's, I don't like that in front of me. Let's see what this one does. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is it good? Look at that, it's like strobes. Oh my gosh. You failed me. What's up? <laughs> One thing I don't like about this is that when it is plugged in, it doesn't work. What's up with that? Let me, yeah, if it's plugged in, it just doesn't work. I got to find another light. Okay, so where was I? Um, oh, I know. I was going to start talking about what you need to do is figure out What's your plan? What are your needs? You need to get a notebook. And I talk about this in my book. You need a notebook and you need to start writing down all the things that I tell you in the book. And one of them is what are your plans? What are your needs? What are your wants? What do you want out of this, um, out of being a nomad? And, and really, it de kind of depends on... Um, Soon we get white here. Yeah, it it depends on what you're, why you want to become a nomad. I mean, why do you want to do it? Is it because you can't afford rent anymore, or you're just sick of living in a house? I mean, is that um, kind of like your your issue? You're just sick of being in a house, or you can't. You're tired of taking care of your house, tired of paying rent, tired of making somebody else rich, right? So, yeah, you need to, like, write these things down. Do you want to stay in your same area? Do you want to leave that area? So this is basically, I'm going to give this to you. This is what you need to do right away. Okay, I think I got my lights uh, thing solved. I'm using one of my through night, <laughs> through night lights, and I put it on um, uh, turbo. <laughs> okay, actually pretty good lighting, don't you think? I think I'll do this again. I'm glad I discovered it. 
So this is how you're going to get started. These, this is your assignment. I want you to get a notebook with a pencil, just dedicated to the, your nomad life, your new upcoming nomad life. And I want you to start taking notes, make sections in your notebook. Um, one on your van, you know, what do you need for your van? You can start making a list of what you need to buy for your van to get a build out because that's got to be an organization unto itself. You know, I mean, do you need um, reflectics? Do you need woodcut? What are the measurements? What What's the measurement? What kind of a build out? A bed are you going to do? Things like that. Then you need to start have like your, ho your, your home. Uh, just uh, title it downsizing and start writing down what what you need to do with that. Uh, list your options in your area. Where can you get rid of your stuff? Uh, what are your plans? Uh, whether it's going to be a yard sale. Start taking notes. If you're going to be organized and you want to get this all done and you want to do it in a, in a, in a really timely, organized manner and fashion, you got to write things down. You need a notebook and you need to write them down. So there's, there you go. And I do want you to go ahead and maybe make sections, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, things like that. And you need to like start looking through the closets going, hmm, what am I going to do with all this stuff? What am I going to do? I know with me, I had a lot of clothes, um, probably less clothes than most normal people, but seriously, for um, but I had a whole lot more than I got now. And I noticed that I do like clothes because I like winter clothes. I like summer clothes, spring clothes. I like to have a variety of jackets. And in my minivan, I can't keep them all. So that's one of the reasons that I have, now I have a storage unit. Um, in Tucson, the storage unit is $63 a month. I just paid my bill. By the way, I went to the storage unit. You'll see that. And somebody actually tried to block me in. They pulled in the car and they had another car here. And when I came out, I said, well, how do you expect me to get out of here? And he goes, well, can't you back up? And I said, no. <laughs> I had a storage like unit like that uh, last year. Uh, no, I'm not going to back up. And there's cars parked in the middle. So, yeah, no, sorry, ain't going to back up. I have a storage unit now that I don't want to back up. So he kind of moved. I mean, he was nice about it. And so was I. But I said, no, I, I, I really don't want to back up. And um, it, so it was kind of like a... And then I went to the office to pay. I'm complaining. Ooh, I'm venting. I went to the office to pay, and there was a note on there that I'm somewhere on the property to call. And then it took about 10 minutes to get there, but that's okay. That's okay. Finally put it on automatic payments. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know why I didn't do that before. That's on me, right? <laughs> okay. But I am kind of wondering if I want to keep that year-round. It's only, if I'm in Flagstaff, that's only a four hour drive. If I really, really needed something in there. Yeah. But these are things I don't want to get rid of and I want to keep. And there's going to be things that you want to keep too. Because I think eventually I just feel it. I sense it. I have a hunch that um, I'm going to uh, get a place at some point. And so why would I want to get rid of everything? I've already bought it. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how this all comes out. But you probably want to get a storage unit. You can start. St you know what you could do with your storage unit? My friend, what she's doing is putting all of her stuff from Nomad Life in the storage unit. So she can kind of keep her house free. But that this is how you get started. Okay. And then we can talk as we go about, you know, next stages and things like that. But, um. Yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about, I'm going to have some soup. I went to Walmart and <laughs> their um, coolers were down. They're so it looks like I came to the wrong store. <laughs> All the things that I want, produce, cheese, things that are real, not box stuff. They, the refrigeration is down, so, hmm. I don't know if I should go to another store or...
but I got four cans of soup. Maybe beef pot roast. That actually looks good. Actually, the whole can is just 450 calories or 240 calories. Ooh, yeah, 240 calories. The whole can of soup. I might just something light. And I wanted to just mention and talk about this. I woke up today and I put out it. I, I really am enjoying Steve Jobs. Uh, some of his quotes from his uh, from his life, and he did this really fabulous university. Um, it's the end of the year. What it, uh, he did like a speech for the graduates, right? And it is an awesome speech. Wow! But there was one in there that said, "This is your." It's basically like this is your life. I mean, this is how he was mentioning. This is how I'm choosing to enjoy my life to what, what I want to do in life. This is what I'm doing because this is what I want to do because really basically we don't get to do that much. Do we really? I mean, unless we're busy all day, uh, every, every second. But when you consider our lives, if you look back, I mean, you really didn't get to do that much of, of all the things you could have done. You didn't really. I mean, we only have so many days and so many years and months. So, but he said, because your life, this is what I choose to do. And I choose to do something that I want to do because in the end, this is my life. And then I die and then I'm gone. So this is this, but he said, but this is what I'm choosing for my life. This is what I'm choosing. What are you choosing for your life? This is what I'm choosing for my life. You know, doing this and talking to you about it and, uh, you know, trying to, entertain you and make you smile, give you positive thoughts and help make you think, kind of tickle your brain, right? Well, I did think today I got up and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got so much I need to do. And something hit me. It's like, stop, just stop. How about Lee, if you enjoy your day today, how enjoy your day? Don't think about, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to rush through this. I'm going to rush it. I want to enjoy when I walked into the gym. I want to enjoy it the best I can. I mean, lately, I really haven't been enjoying being in the gym overly well. I mean, it's I like it's something that I feel I need to do. Now, I don't have to do it, but I feel like I, if I want the results, I have to do it. I have to put in my time. But. There's no reason why I can't go in there and enjoy it while I'm there the best I can. So that's the word of the day is enjoyment. I'm enjoying the day. I enjoyed, um, there was some more work that I needed on, on, today, on yesterday's video. Well, it's today's, but when you're watching it, yesterday's. There were some more things I needed to do. I needed to do a thumbnail. I always enjoy that. But just enjoying getting everything set. And with that, there's a lot more than filming and editing that goes along with putting out a video. You have to like do the descriptions, set all the, <clears throat> you have to set everything on YouTube, things like that. Put in your hashtags. Well, so I did my best to enjoy it. And then I wanted to go to, I knew I had to go to the storage. I tried my best. I really wanted to enjoy it. And one way that I could enjoy it was kind of filming it because then I'm more, um, I'm more thoughtful with what I'm doing. Like I'm doing this and then I'm doing that. So it made it a little bit more thoughtful. And now I'm talking to you. Walmart actually was kind of enjoyable, even though, um, they didn't have what I wanted, but I'm wondering how many of you out there go through your day and you're not really enjoying it. Now, if you're just sitting still and you're not doing anything and you say, well, I'm relaxing and I'm enjoying it, that's still, that's not very good. You need to be doing what you're supposed to be doing in life, not just sitting, doing nothing because you're going to lose muscles. You're going to, you know, you're not going to be healthy. Every once in a while is fine, but to do that on a regular basis, being a nomad, especially sitting in your front seat, not doing anything, that's not good. But if you can do things that need to be done and get through, and then you can sit down for a while. But if you can enjoy doing 
all the things that are necessary for a successful, healthy life to enjoy doing it while you're doing it, not making it like it's a chore. Okay, well, that's my word for the day, enjoying um, even the, the things that must be done. Yeah, enjoying the chores, enjoying the chores. Okay, everybody, how to get started and how to enjoy your life doing it. So you who asked that question, I want you to enjoy organizing everything up and all of you out there, that you're gonna start downsizing, enjoy doing it. It can be fun. I actually enjoyed it when I was doing it. I did. Okay, so please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Go to Amazon and type in Minivan Lee for how to live in a minivan, the Minivan Lee way. And uh, go to minivanlee.com. Why not? Why not? Okay? Okay, till tomorrow, everybody. I love you.